As a lady, so many times we've faced several harassments from verbal to physical, but the most annoying of all is sexual harassment. I mean, a lady cannot literally walk on the road in the marketplace, especially a very busy marketplace. to my youtube channel i am hanulua adibanjo and with me here is my sister my big sis hanulua <laughs> okay so this is everything and anything with hanulua adibanjo and um, in today's video as you might have seen in the intro we'll be talking we'll be ranting basically about um you know um, sexual harassment you know, to the feminine gender so basically um, we'll be ranting about um, men, you know, not all men actually, but most men sexualizing women and of course sexual harassment almost everywhere, almost everywhere you turn to, you are being you know, sexually harassed as a lady, as a woman. So please keep watching and of course give this um, channel a thumbs up and subscribe of course, like this video and keep following us, keep sharing please. Keep sharing, keep you know, inviting people to you know, join on. Which, you know, like to have a big family, a bigger family than what we have now. Thank you and keep watching. See you in a bit. All right, so I'd let my sister go first about you know, um, basically maybe her experiences or things that she's seen and heard. Of course, she's my older sister, so I believe she might have, you know, of, of course, you would have seen, you know, way beyond and she's, you know, traveled, been to different parts, you know, have, you know, had so many experiences and all of that. So I'd let her, you know, shoot first, then I'd just add mine. Okay, hello guys. Okay, thank you. So talking about sexual harassment, like there are lots of things I've heard. I've seen and to some extent I think I've also experienced it although not like the way some people will really talk about it but yes to some extent harassment can actually be in any form to me I feel it can be at a place of work can be while going to the marketplace can be at any mass can be even in a supermarket or any mall and can even be within your friends your pair group and all so I think it can be depending on I think anybody actually for me so okay, let me start by my own personal experience. Okay, the first time I actually, I didn't even know it was an harassment. It's funny enough, it was with an older person, an older man. He came by to our house to, to visit, to bring my dad and kind of. So at some point at night, sometimes we didn't have lights. So we just come, I'll probably be sitting outside, taking fresh air, just come over and a you know, kind of blah, 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 you know, like, sir, you did me, be like, hey, boom, what was this, come on, boom. So at some point, I just felt, ah. well, to me, I could, no, that's the funny thing, you might not be able to tell your parents because you are scared. Yeah, you, you yeah, be very yeah. vulnerable. You know, people like, ah, maybe I did one, maybe I should, and I felt like I was too small. You know, that thing kept shrinking in my head, and I felt, wow. So I could not even stay alone at home when nobody's around. And even when I'm in school, because my auntie was always around. So in my head, I was like, how, how my auntie be feeling? We should be able to cope with this man. What we should be doing? We should be running away like I used to do, you know, all those stuff. So in my head, I'll just be like, just be scared. And I couldn't tell anybody. So funny enough, when my sister, I don't know, I think we're just talking generally. And she mentioned something, I was not like, ah! Yes, so this man. This no, I think you were actually the first person that told me, but I didn't believe because I was. I mean, angry. I couldn't. I was just like, oh, see, maybe it's, it's in your head. I don't. I don't kind think it's mad. You know, something like that. And then, then at that time, you didn't even know that there was something called pedophilia or, or something, something like that. So, so you just know, like maybe it was trying to play with you. you so yeah. So but yeah. Even, I think I knew something like that from my dad. I was like, it was just playing with you. Of course, we think an older man like that, the age difference no less than twenty years, but like, it's just playing with you. But it became something almost every day. Just touch me and i get scared uh, every night i just want to be with my mom yeah. i just want to be with grams and yeah and i actually experienced it from the same man too at the time it was even like touching my breast and all of that and i knew it was wrong like 
I just knew it was wrong because of course it would just ring to you and I knew that this thing was wrong. So I kept running away from the man. And just like she said, I was always afraid for her older sister hands then because I was like, ah. every time I, mean, I was in school, you know, then back then I would just be like, oh, I just pray. I hope this man is not doing anything to my hands and anything and, you know. You know, and then thankfully no, Sha, nothing really happened because after like he spent maybe like two, three days yeah. and he left. So it was after then, you know, when people started talking about maybe sexual harassment, different and be like, Oh, okay, I think I'm experienced something like that. I think yeah. something like that happened to me too, you know. And well no, because at that point I was even scared and up to this time I can't even forget it. I still remember it. So I don't think okay, what about people that have been raped, what about people that have been abused? A friend of mine, a guy told me like he was abused by his own um aunt like his mother's sister or kind of no imagine it's actually vice versa so but I think at some point yes like, at some point he told me and I was like okay is the aunt dead now like do you still see the person she said yes that the person has changed she tried like the person even tried to talk to him like okay about God and I was like okay at that point you, for you at, at this moment you can still remember like that means that thing kept on ringing your head yeah. because it's something that you can't forget and those people that do that at some point they probably want to let go probably have, they'll tell you they, they, that was when they were still young that was when they didn't know Christ that was when they didn't know much about like they were just giving different excuses some they destroyed destinies they destroy life. Yeah. Some I have some ladies that they will tell you that they can't even fall in love with a man because yeah. they believe all men are the are same. same. Yeah. Because and because my my uncle's um my uncle slept with me. I'm not sure even my husband can. You know people just yeah. like, I'm like okay. I think my is even still small. I yeah, think that was yeah. 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 you know, because like, these things happen a lot. And sometimes you know sometimes I just wonder how. Because sometimes when I'm my friend, be like how did this happen? Why why does this things happen in our society? Why is that? And sometimes when we say and I'll be like, hey, are you the only one? So people have experienced it. Even in schools, you see, in universities, polytechnics, you know, a lot of things. Some ladies cannot work freely. Some tell me that I can't wear trousers to go and miss my lecturer. Because by the time I wear trousers, I will start looking. Some tell me I can't wear a gown. You will start touching me. And I'll be like, why does it have to be like that? Exactly. Why do you always have to experience it? Yeah. You want to go for an interview. Why are being sexualized? Yeah. Be like, okay, you want to go for an interview and you're already scared. Or probably you did and be like, okay, what can you offer? And be like, yes, I have this. And I'll be like, that's not what they're asking you. I have a friend also who left. She's even a lady. She had to leave her place over because her boss was harassing her almost every day. And finally, after I was like, you wait, what is even what was the what boss looking for? for? Yeah, so as if you have yes, this body. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. like something that is rampant. Like it, everybody just wants to take opportunity. And to be sincere, it's not only females. It's both ways because by the time you hear some things ladies to do with guys, you be like. Can you do this to your brother? Can you do this to your nephew? And by the time they start telling you, some of them, so now they'll tell you, there are people that they will tell you, younger guys, they'll tell you they can't date um, young women. They have to date older men because they, they are used to it. They are used to dating older women right mm -hmm. from. You no, know, you'll be like, what happened? These are things that they are. And, so if you have to talk about it every now and then, you can't finish it because yeah, different because stories, different, yeah, different, different keep on coming yeah, up. So I don't know. You just, I feel like we just need help. And what's the like? We need to sensitize everyone around us. Let them know. And okay. men too should like stand yes. up. You don't just sit and, back and yes. watch your fellow man. You know, like going to the market and you see a guy just auntie come and buy this thing. Do you have to touch me? Like it's it's just it's it's annoying. Do you have to touch me to make your point to tell yeah, me to buy some something? Some people even eat. You anyhow, mm -hmm. like, and why do you eat me? Like, some people be on the bike and just eat you and go away, yeah, because you know you can't catch up with them, yeah, you know, you can't retaliate. You just so these are things that you saw that even when you see as a guy or as a little, when you see things like this happening around you, then you need to copy it. And yes, on the other hand, because I feel like we, we should be on both sides. And the other hand, so ladies, you need to wear something decent because when by the time you wear something decent outside. Is rare for a guy. Although sometimes you, funny enough, you might even wear something so decent, like in that coat, and you still get to be like, can still be harassed. But because I saw on Instagram, a lady was wearing on um, Jubilee Breed, that's around Aja. She was like, 
she was just crying she was like they've been molesting her like they've been harassing her like guys all these um conductors that they've been harassing her and she like she had to show do a video of herself she was wearing a full clothes a trouser and a top long top yeah, she's imagine. a caterer and she was crying weeping you know and be like why 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 does that and yeah. people were there and people that was even the painful part because she said it wasn't even because we were harassing her but because people were there watching her mm -hmm. and because she responded to someone and they started harassing her and people were just looking even mm -hmm. uh, women that were there men that were there and mm -hmm. nobody could talk so i feel like we need a voice no matter where you are yeah. because it starts from somewhere it starts uh, it, start, it just begins with a step so mm -hmm. whatever step you take now reflect tomorrow yeah. so if you see this happening in your school you see it happening in your church you see it happening in your family yeah, just for, the and for is. parents who so i'll feel like okay when mm -hmm. your children and thank god things like this are happening and now i think parents are listening more than before so i feel like when your children tells you something at least you might not say that but at least just watch and observe try mm -hmm. to change okay is this thing real is it uh, what she is or what he or she is saying is it true can it be? then try to observe don't just let like, just get out just can't or don't just shut them up because they want to talk because i remember then i wanted to talk but i was just like they didn't really believe they didn't even think okay something like that could happen so we're just like no not really something like so we just need to and for me, I'm sorry that I will talk, I will consider talking. So if I consider talking, you guys may just be wondering. So let me just put a stop there. Yeah. So I feel basically everyone should just step in and help. Like I was seeing it on someone's status and I think, I don't even know what transpired. She probably was asking for help. Probably, um, I don't know, maybe introducing probably her business to a man and the man was trying to just sexualize her, trying to ask, okay, what can you offer? So immediately the man discovered that oh, this lady will not you know, take, this lady will not, you know, go along with whatever she was saying and all that. I was trying to twist the words and I'm like, oh, that's not what I mean. I was only pulling your legs, I was only teasing you and all of that. And I feel, I feel it's not right. Like, even, I, I, I don't know, what even annoys me the most is probably a lady not being able to walk alone at night, not being able to go to the marketplace alone. I you think know? that can never happen. Yeah. You can't, you can't. You can't. Yeah. Was even that, uh, even places where you feel like, okay, there are people around, you are scared to walk alone. You not, not you are scared to because night. you know what yeah. might happen. That's even when you are decently dressed, you are still scared yeah. because of the... You know, sometimes I watch movies, sometimes, yes, we know movies can be unrealistic. But sometimes you feel like, okay, how are they so comfortable walking and just playing at that time and you feel like okay my place you no know, people will be like ah my village people they will come for me or something or yes I can't even do that where I live or where I stay. Yeah that's how bad it is. Yeah there are a lot of things that I can't do where I'm based, you know, I try to you know um take my time, you know, try to check the time, you know, and trying to know that, oh, I'm not working alone at this time, like, or unless I have a male friend that I know, okay, we can work, which is not supposed to be, like, as a lady, I'm supposed to, like, be respected, be, you know, giving my own respect, not, not the fact that, oh, when, when I know the guy or anything, anybody can just come and harass you, some person can just be on a bike and just slap you, you know, just touch you anyhow, and then they believe that they can, you know, go, go scot free and all of that, so I just believe we need to do better as, a, as people, as individuals, and as a society like it's not just a one man job it's not just a one man um thing so i think that's just basically what we want to like what we are ranting uh, about tonight yeah. like you know so tonight's just a night like we, okay we just want to rant about you know, guys men sexualizing women and what is not supposed to be even at the workplace you know a boss you know trying to even when a lady is hard working a boss you know looking for so much more and all of that and it's just something that we see almost every time in society people being around ladies most especially i know it happens to guys also but ladies you know and it feels like oh people are now and now everybody wants to be feminists and all of that because of what they've experienced because of you know and there was this interview i watched of chimamanda you know chimamanda Adichie is like the one that you know initiated the whole feminism stuff you know that we are now following now and she was like oh no that is wickedness that is not feminism like the lady i think she was you know just being so harsh and all of that but i feel it's because of what you know, some experience. people have experienced yes yeah, so it's been tough to love it's been tough to accept love it's been tough to give love yes so i feel it's just because of all of that that you've experienced so um what we are just trying to talk about tonight what we're just trying to advocate is that 
everybody should stand up and help it's not a one man thing if you are a guy watching this stand up and help you know just try and be a better person change begins with you it begins with me try and be a better person if you are a lady too try and be a better person you know to everyone to people younger than you have to people older than you have and everything i believe that the world can be a better place which is why we will not stop talking we we'll always keep you know hammering on all these things all the societal and vices and you know things that happen so yeah that's just basically what we have for you tonight thank you for watching this video if you are new here well this is my channel Hanulu Adimajo and it's where I talk about everything and anything basically. I leave of course I always leave um link to previous videos that you can always check up on and all of that and tonight I have my sister here with me <laughs> so it let you know let me thank I even in the comment section you know for coming up you know on my channel and all of that if you'd also like to have her next time, let me know. Let me know what kind of content you can you know, like for us to discuss on here. So, and please do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like. Do not forget to share. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to our channel. Yeah, please. All right now. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm sorry. Thanks, you. Oh, thinking about sexual harassment. Sexual. 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 Sexual.